In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Canva AI generator tool to generate AI images for your Canva projects. And I'm going to show you how you can do it on the phone. So what you first need to do is go to canva.com. And once you're here, you're going to need to either sign up or log into your account if you already have one. So I'm going to log into my account now. You can do this all on the Canva website, by the way. You don't need to download the Canva app. Okay, so now I've logged in. It's going to redirect me to my dashboard and here what we can do is we can head over to the AI generator. So you want to click on the free free lines in the top left hand corner that will open up this window where you can then go to apps and then from apps you want to click on apps again and that will redirect you to this window here where you can search and discover apps. Now what you want to do is you want to go to search apps then type in text to uh, text to image so click on text to image and then this one should pop up here text to image it'll be the first one so go ahead and click on that now what you can do you can scroll down and you can add this to an existing design or you can use this and create a new design now i'm going to let's just say use an existing design for me we can then go to my projects and i can then obviously choose choose a design i want to add an image to for the video i'll just choose this untitled design here obviously you can create a new one if you need to Okay, so then this window will pop up and here we can generate an image using text. So let me just give it a command here. So I'm just going to give it a very basic command of the sun setting into the ocean. So we're going to go ahead and create that image. And you can see it's going to use one of 49 credits. And you can use this text to image feature for free without a pro plan. Now you can see it's going to generate four images and then we can choose which one we want. So here are the four images. We can also click create again if we don't like any of these. But for the video, I'm going to go with this one in the bottom right, which we can then click on. Then it's going to go ahead and add it to your Canva page. And you can resize this and use this image however you'd like. 